The other day I saw something that was intriguing to me and I'm going to try to share it with you. I say try because, well, you're going to have to use your imagination and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do that to help you do that. But when you think about your life, when you think about how much you have and how much you've spent already, what does that look like? I think sometimes there's things in our lives that we wish we could go back and redo, but, well, they're in the past. Well, what I saw the other day was a simple hourglass. Now, I don't know who it was that was sharing this, and I don't have an hourglass to actually show you the way it was done as I saw it. But if you think about an hourglass with sand in the top and sand in the bottom, and then that little thin area where the sand goes down through to the bottom. And here's the thing about that hourglass. The top of it represents the life that you have yet to live. The middle represents the life that you're living in the moment. And the bottom represents the life that you've lived already. You see, the sand can't go back up through and go up to be relived. It's done. It's over. And that moment in where you are right now, that is, that is the important part, how you're living right now. But here's the thing that I found the most interesting. The person that I was watching covered up the top and said, here's the problem, folks. You don't know how much sand is in the upper part. You don't know how much time you actually have left. And I thought about that, and that is a sobering thought. And if we lived our lives recognizing and understanding that the moment, this moment, is the most important part of life, not the future, not the past, but how you're living right now, the question is, how are you doing? Because you don't know. You have no idea how much of that life is left. It may be down to the last grain or two. How do you want to go out? How do you want to be remembered? How do you want your future to look? You see, the choice is ultimately yours. It's not mine. It's mine for my own life, but it's yours for yours. The challenge is to think about that today. Think about how you're living your life. Take the risk. Take the risk and live it to its fullest. Hey, until next time, God bless.